Hello, my lovely people. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, depending on your time zone or anytime you are coming across this platform, Linda's TV show. If it is your first time and you like what we do here, kindly subscribe, put on your notification bell to all notifications. In that way, you'll be able to know when we upload a new video. Here, we educate, inform the members of the public about the happenings in the globe. We react to all forms of videos. And I want to seize this opportunity to appreciate YouTube for creating this wonderful platform. The same time I put a disclaimer that here in Linda's TV show, we do not promote war, we do not promote violence, we do not promote hate speech. What we are here to do is to educate and inform the members of the public. And again, YouTube call for self-determination is never a call for war. In the Nordic countries, I welcome all of you, the Biafra Republic government in exile cabinet, the facto government in the homeland, ministers, and the other head of department. I welcome all of you this evening to this uh, historic tour again, the first ever regional tour of the as a Prime Minister of Biafra Republic of Montenegro, and we start from the Nordic state. Uh, Biafrans, with your support, prayers, we have been able to uh, record a very tremendous achievement and success. And with the prayer that I have listened to today, if devil did not disappear, make a no say God today. Because this kind of prayer that uh, uh, our brother and pastor prayed here, uh, you will know that uh, pastors are doing uh, Some people think that they are pastors, but this particular prayer today will shatter the the devil's kingdom in Biafra movement. So uh, I welcome that prayer with uh, my whole heart. So my fellow Biafrans in the Nordic state, I want to first of all thank you for bringing out your time to be here, to have given support to this government up to this point. Whenever the Nigeria state start crying, know that you are doing something and you are doing it very right. For the very first time in the history of the Biafra liberation, Biafra discussions and issues has never been talked about the way it is being discussed today, both with the enemy and those that are supporting Biafra. I want every one of you to understand that what you are doing now is your right. Freedom is the most important thing in any human life. And you must go out to fight for your freedom and regain your freedom and make sure you are not enslaved. Make sure you don't live a life and leave your children, your born children, your generation to come in the hand of slave masters. It is your responsibility as a man, as a woman, as leaders in your family, your different organizations, to fight for your people and free them from the enslavement and the shackles of Nigeria state. That's exactly what we are doing today, and that's why we are making progress. Since 1945, Biafra people have witnessed all manner of wanton killing, destruction of properties, ethnic cleansing, genocide, just in the name of maintaining one Nigeria. And today, the generation of which I'm very proud of, which you are part of, have risen up to say enough is enough. It is time we take it by, we take the bull by its horn and say enough is enough. And we must fight for our freedom. Just like many countries in the Nordic countries today where we live have decided to fight their way many years ago. And today, there are countries where the innovation, development, and all manner of civilization has come to stay. We are not different from these countries. We are not different from Finland. We are not different from Sweden. We are not different from Estonia and many other countries around this Scandinavia region. So, my people, whatever you are doing today by supporting the Biafra Republic of in Exile is your right, your political right, your right to freedom of expression, freedom of association, and freedom and anything that has to do with your freedom. It is what you are exercising today under the Biafra Republic government in exile. For the very first time in Nigeria history, the entire foundation 
of Evo Nigeria has been uprooted. And today, from the presidency down to the local government chairman, they are all running Helter Skelter because Biafra has brought a new dimension that Mazen Amdikano talked about before he was kidnapped. Many people did not see that particular spirit coming. But today, everything, every prophecy has come to pass. And the process and the road to the restoration of independence of Biafra is right in front of us, is right here looking at us. And we must not be distracted. We must not be moved. We must not be, you know, we must step back an inch because of the, uh, you know, the steady bombardment in our land, because of the uh, blackmail, because of the propaganda from the Nigeria state. We must not step back an inch. We must not succumb to the pressure. We will not succumb to the attack coming from the Nigeria state. The more this attack comes, the more we are proving to be on the right path. Today, for the very first time in the history of Nigeria, they have declared Biafra agitators wanted. They are declared wanted alongside with terrorist groups, the terrorist groups that are arresting, rehabilitating within six months. They recruit them into the Nigeria army and they focus more on the southeast part of Biafra. That shows that we are doing the right thing. Today, for the very first time in the history of Nigeria, Nigeria army printing flyers, sharing it on the road going from one place to another, sharing it on the road. And one thing that is very laughable is they continue to call IPOB. They have refused to understand that Simon Ekpa is the Prime Minister of Biafra Republic of Mentinexa because they know the implication of that. But we continue to tell them that we are no longer doing an IPOB thing. What we are at now is government. And it is government to government. And I happen to be the Prime Minister of Biafra Republic of Mentin Exile. We have the Biafra Liberation Army that was unveiled to defend the Biafra people, women and children against the bombardment, against the ethnic cleansing and genocide that Nigeria government is bringing to our people. Yet, every day they talk about ESN camp. Every day they talk about uh, the uh, exchange of gunfire with ESN. ESN does not exist as far as this government is concerned. The people that brought the e issue of ESN after three years were the criminals of the Nigeria IPOB, who after they failed to, to destroy Biafra, they are looking for something to hang on Mazen Amdekan. And today, the Nigeria government who sent them to start talking about ESN after three years, they refused to talk about Biafra Liberation Army because they have told them to go and start talking about Eastern Security Network again after three years. Why we have made it very clear that anything ESN has been dissolved and what we have in Biafra Liberation Army, we are making the defense of the Biafra Liberation Army very open and public. Yet, this criminal and terrorist state continue to hang on Eastern Security Network. They continue to hang on IPOB. And many people that are following this IPOB Nigeria do not understand what they are doing using them to try to, uh, you know, put those things hang on the neck of Mazen Amdekan. Because Mazen Amdekan was the founder of the Central Security Network. And as a government, we don't operate anything kind of security outfit as such. We are for, we have formed the Biafra Liberation Army. We formed Biafra Resistance Fighters. We formed Biafra Navy. And all this together combined become the defense force, Biafra defense force, which is in the public domain. So fellow Biafrans, today, they are still talking about Eastern Security Network. Ask yourself, why? And did those people following the IPOB Nigeria continue to go on social media to try to correct the Nigeria army, the terrorist army, that, oh, this they have made it very clear several times, that take very much have nothing to do with IPOB, they don't understand that these criminals are using them. Because they cannot explain why is army always talking about Eastern Security Network? And they are saying, we have constantly told them this guy has nothing to do with ESN, this guy is not an IPOB member, but they don't understand that that was what a job for. And those who are working with the Nigeria government ask the criminal leadership of IPOB Nigeria to do. Immediately, they sack a job for, 
I want everybody to pay attention. Immediately, a Jofo was sacked. I was one of the person that know about it from the beginning. And immediately, a Jofo was sacked. I announced it. They were still hiding it and hiding it and hiding it. And the Jofo appeared in the one of the court. And then the news was everywhere. But I knew that Tony Andrew had sacked the Jofo. So instead of them to, to show that they have actually lost everything, including losing Oyendu, do you know what they did? They started preaching that, oh, Oyendu is not supposed to go to court. But ask them, what was the Jofo doing before he was sacked? Was he not going to court? Was he not the same Jofo that went to court without any document, without any indictment, without nothing about Oyendu? He doesn't even know the doc he doesn't even know the indictment against Oyendu. He went to court. Demanded for the uh, uh, for the indictment, they refused to give him indictment. But he went to court to defend Onyendu without Onyendu's consent. All these things was a cooked up, planned deal to make sure they hang cases on Onyendu's head. And I want to remind the friends today that remember that there was a case that the Binta Nyako adjoined to further notice. That was a different case entirely. Nobody is talking about it, but it is going to come later on. By the time they release Onyendu. They will still go back and say, Oh, there's another indictment, which is your four went to court and said that the, the case is done and dusted. How many of you remember that? There is a case pending, which is the the, the whole thing that your four and Nigeria government was doing in order to make sure that they hold on you. The your four went to the court and said that the Mazin and the Kando have no case, the case is dust, done and dusted. But the pronouncement of the judge, according to a your four, was that. He don't have the jurisdiction to try this case. Okay, if you do not have the jurisdiction to try that case, why did you not scrap the case immediately in the court? And the case was adjoined indefinitely, which means after whatever that is going on now, if we just get through, the Jofo has set a trap that they are going to take on Yendo again. I had I made this exposition immediately. That case was adjoined indefinitely. But Biafrans France and those who follow them then don't understand what is going on. So now, immediately they see that the Jofo has been sacked. What did they do? The, the, the Jofo told them to go and gather people and start making videos about ESN. After three years, none of them talked about ESN for complete three years. Immediately the sack of the Jofo came because what they were telling some of you then was that, oh, is this Amanekpa that is paying the lawyer? Is it the Biafra government that is paying the lawyer? Who is sending the lawyer to the... And immediately they hear that the Biafra government has taken charge of the Onyendu case. Immediately, they start gathering boys to start picture and present them as Eastern Security Network. After three years, they didn't talk about Eastern Security Network. It was the same people that came to Radio Biafra to shout, hey, nothing like Eastern Security Network again. They don't have camp there. There is no camp there. Everything was destroyed, almost. Now, they make a video and tell the Security Network. And when Biafra Liberation Army fight these criminals, this terrorist army of Nigeria, instead of them to report it is Biafra Liberation Army, they say it is Eastern Security Network. Are you people not seeing it? Now ask yourself, what was the intention and what is the intention of the Nigeria Army in doing that? In the hand of a Jofo and the criminals in DOS is there. They hate Mazin Nam the Kano with impunity. But one thing is certain. We will force Nigeria to release him in a historic manner. I have said this several times. The release of Onyendo lies in our hand. The release of Mazin Amdikano lies in this government. I want you to understand that he is not the first person to have been in prison or have been incarcerated for fighting for freedom. If they have the opportunity to incarcerate me today, they will do it times four. Because according to them, I have done what Mazin Amdikano did not do. And let me tell you, this fight is a fight to finish. And I told them, I am not going to fight like Mazin Amdikano. I'm not going to fight like Ojuku. I will fight like Simon Ekba in 2024. Yes, yes. That's exactly what we're doing. Okay, so anybody okay. expecting me to fight like Mazin Amdikano is wasting his time. Anything expecting me, anybody expecting me to fight like Ojuku is wasting his time. We see how Ojuku and his fight ended. We see how they have done to what they have done to Mazin Amdikano. And they're expecting me to do the same thing. I'm not a fool. We will fight Nigeria ruthlessly the way the kind of brutality they brought our people, the same way we are going to defend our land and fight them. And that's what we are doing. If you come with AK-47, we will fight you with AK-47. If you come with GPMG, we will fight you with GPMG. If you come with aircraft, we don't have it yet, but believe me, we will make sure we use our aircraft against you. And that is exactly what the international law says. You cannot just fold your hand and watch a terrorist state to kill you. 
are all, all of us because you want to be a citizen of the world and you want to be a civilized person. Nobody does that. In Finland here, any day, any country invade this Finland, I, Samonekpa, as a result, we go and fight. And that is what it is. That's what I'm doing to Biafra. Biafra have a history. If anybody doesn't know the history of Biafra, I'm going to tell the person the history of Biafra. Anywhere I'm invited any day, I am ready for them. It is a fight to preserve our life, our culture, our women and children must be secured, and we are not going to be killed like the way they are killing other people in Nigeria. And that's what Samanepa stands for. Today, they are making it as if I am violent. Mm -hmm. But they are the one that is very violent. Before Samanepa joined Biafra struggle, they have killed many Biafrans. I was not part of it. They have killed over 28 in Onyendu's house. I was not part of it. They killed in Abia State, in Abasku, 150. I was not part of it. They have rendered our, our women useless, fatherless, motherless, and her, you know, widows. They have done all those things. Simon Ekba was not part of the Biafra struggle then. So what did I do? What gave birth to Simon Ekba is the brutality of Nigeria. And Nigeria is a very, very evil country. And Biafra needed, needed somebody that God have brought for this particular project. And I believe nobody will be handling the Nigeria state with the, with the kind of level of brutality that I'm handling them today. It is gun for gun, bullet for bullet, bomb to bomb, until we liberate our people and make sure no woman in Biafra land will shed tears and nobody will come for help to help them. We are making sure that nobody will live and stay in IDP camp. Believe me, if it is not the way the Biafra government and the de facto government have handled Nigeria thing, all of you in Biafra land will be running Heta Sketa by now because it is happening in other parts of Nigeria. They talked about violence. Simon Ekpa is violent. And I asked them again, if you did not come to kill Biafra, will Simon Ekpa raise, raise money for guns and bullets? If you did not come and bomb our people, will Simon Ekpa be there to talk about self-defense? I will not be there. But they are not talking about those killing people in the north. They are not talking about those abducting 200 school children in the north. They are not talking about those releasing Boko Haram every month to, to recruit them into Nigerian military. Nobody is talking about that. Nobody is talking about, do you know why? Because Boko Haram is the Nigeria government failed agent who kills for the Islamization of Nigeria. It is them that made Boko Haram. So Biafra is fighting for separation. Boko Haram is fighting for the conquest of Nigeria. They want to conquer everybody and turn into Islamic State. So Boko Haram is not their problem. And that is what everybody should know. As a Biafran, stop asking questions. What about Boko Haram? What about bandit? Because if you ask that question, it means that you know nothing about what is going on in Nigeria. Boko Haram, ISWAP, all of them are working for Nigeria government for the Islamic State of Nigeria. Why Biafra are fighting to separate? That is the problem they have. The biggest threat in Nigeria today is Simon Ekpa. Everywhere is Simon Ekpa. Simon Ekpa is, and I cannot fold my hand and watch Nigeria kill my people and watch ISWAP kill my people and go free. We must fight them to the last person. And after declaration this year, I want to assure everyone that the fight will go to the next level. On the 2nd of December, Biafra will declare the restoration of independence state of Biafra in Finland and make sure we are part of it. Because of your support and your prayer, we have been able to achieve what we have achieved today. The uh, awareness we have created all over the world has never been there since the history of Biafra, uh, since the history of the war. We make sure the next step now is to create global awareness so that Biafra will become the global discussion. That's where we are going. We are seeking and we are seeking for the recognition of many states. But you see, these recognitions will not come until the world see how serious we are. Fighting and asking for referendum and asking for freedom is not a crime. Anybody in this life, when you see that you are not welcomed in a country, a country where the allocation will be given and your region will be excluded, it, you, don't, you are not welcome. It is time everybody wake up. And we are not expecting the political elite to support us because they are the product of Nigeria. But one thing we are not going to accept is to back down because the terrorist state is saying we are violent. If they did not bring violence to us, we will not be violent. We are going to be violent against them. So once they bring the violent, we will respond with violence. Thank you very much.
thank you, thank you, my prime minister. So, and uh, so the quote of the day is that when you bring violence to Biafra, Biafra will respond with violence. Thank you, thank you, thank you, my PM. Thank you so much. Right, uh, I think we're going to move uh, very quickly to the next uh, stage, which is the EYG. Please, I want to uh, confirm from the organizers, the EYG have to be from uh, country to country, as we yes, are starting please. from Finland, am I correct? Yes, please, it's country to country, especially the refs. Okay, after, especially the refs the... after the refs are stated here, then any other person can continue, please. Can I? Can I allow you to take the stage now and begin to call them out uh, the way you want it in the order? I don't know. Yes, or you want me to go? Ahead? I think uh, I think uh, Ralph, they should delegate one person to handle that. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so the either the Wamba uh, and his group may be able to handle because they know how they have made the program, so they can follow it up. Yeah, Omar, but I think uh, let, let me see if you are co-host already. Yes, yes, I am. My co-host, please, uh, I'm going to spotlight you so that you will begin to call them in. Anybody you call in, I will spotlight, okay? Okay, welcome. Welcome. Yes, I'm here. Go ahead now. You have the mic now, please. Yes, please. Um, Marzi Paul from Finland, please take the mic. Okay, Marzi Paul. Yes, please. Biafra, peace, freedom, unity, progress, progress and, equity. and equity. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, good evening, my prime minister. Good evening, cabinet. Good evening, all reps, comrades. Good evening, friends of Biafra. Good, good evening to the whole world that is supporting us. My name remains Mazi Paul Alinde. I am the rep of Finland here. Uh, it has come to the our Nordic tour. Prime Minister, we are welcoming you. And uh, now we are going back to our roots near Basara Iwaji. I gana square to Gana Sue and Uluai. Oja Adaru Gunna, Finland. Nicola Nord is here. And uh, it is our tradition to break our not and to thank our gods of our land. Yes, as an award, you get paid. I'm not sure. That's a boy. Oh, you get with trying for me. Okay, but I kept the apparent Easter Sunday. Don't you have an unnecessary break? Wadu <laughs> Oji ai na awa ai na sika zoo ka ha na anu da nye gbasara ka bia frase abia so that ngba bu na na awa oji zoo zoo ga na agbasa si agbasa si ha ge nwoto wofa ana onto accord ebe obo na ngba ebudiri nye gbasara ije ije gbasara ye igboro wa ya eba obu na mbu na prime minister si na na eba ka oge ebudo ana eba ka oge ndi Bona Finland there. I dress it. Now you are there in Finland there. I na watata. I say because in your bona buy in the look at the rain. I say now I can see her guy behind no. It's a boy it's a boy. I na yo shuko ki abiama. When I see her abiama no ena itata because now you are born of there. I have boku mo shuko ki abiama. Man in your life when we will see. Na, o kwa ni gwa kai nenyo tuto. We ne kelegi, makam du inye grani. Ndu anke inye rani, izi wapo patasi ayi wa adi shi shi we bata no budo yu bwa. O wone yi, o wone yi, o wone yi padrani. Ani ayi padrani kai wanisu. 
on the Bonambo, a US and a Biafra, boom, boom, ancient world, no, no, but no, 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 I live with the ID name, ATI in Namibia. Biafra, no, Katadakuta, or one more capital, and Biafra got there. Say, I am a Sigi Biko. Kaina Wajia, Kaina Tatando. Kaina Wajia, Kaina Tata Ogabu. Kaina Wajia, Kaina Fu Biafra. KBR Yabu Dena K twenty twenty four. Kaina Wajia. Oh, Momo, I name Yawatana Biafra, I could any cook where no Belguna did not quite to acquire his wedding. I said, Papa, who are both Chuku? He gave me quite a case with a blue Chuku. Because a quagu a bow on your nephew, a quagu a kind of bonnet, if not bonnet total, not bonnet body. So, so who give me leg in his room, none do I need it. Near kind of yogi, staff, a school cab, you have a pulling in it. He said, 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 he you can't hundred you can you work go can I'm sorry but but my name is Kokoro. I suppose you work hundred you will support you. I suppose you work hundred you will. You go from Niyanku, Nepali, Nepali, Basali, Si, Iwaje. Oh, you are the type that make money. When I say I will get three hundred you, they will make money. Oh no, come here, no, they will. I'm not going to do that. Yeah. The next person on the stage now is Maba Okabram from Sweden. Um, I don't have got food, but it's good. Then um, I put the word in. Man, um, on the word I just put in line. We see what happens. Yeah, no, see here now. Go a support. Now, I put the news on the wall. Okay, let me please come into English because I know many of us are not uh, Igbos. So I said, we will not pray this prayer two times. Our brother has already prayed and has already break the color knots. We are now supporting this um, uh, prayer he has made. And see from Sweden, um, and my support our prime minister and his uh, cabinet and maybe 100 crore, 100 euro, no, 100 dollars. When I worry about you, wherever also 100 dollars from my brother, Odogu Dalano, wherever also 50 dollars from Steve Williams. All of them kind of actually go down when they do now say, Mazi, Edward Simon and Joku, welcome. To your home, welcome to this meeting. To this, to this meeting, welcome to Nordic States. And I am saying, I am dropping it here. Let me give space and express to my fellow reps. After that, Sweden will come back. Let's move forward. Okay. Thank you. No, you coming back. Okay. So now, this Mazi Ugo from nowhere. Please, you can take this mic. As you go, can you raise your hand so that I'll spotlight you? Is that Ugo Chuku? Am I correct? Yes, 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 yep. yes, yes. Okay, okay. All right, you're there on stage now. Yes, so great dear friends, a very good evening from Norway. Maazi, Simon, Banjoko, a Boki, Grandmaster, and seven. Oh, but do be a. Uh, uh, on behalf of uh, Norway family, by the way, my name is uh, Donatus Ugochukokoro from Olu State. Uh, I'm here representing Norway uh, family. Uh, Mazi, uh, you're highly welcome to Nordic States uh, Regional, as you as you mentioned earlier, the first of the kind. Uh, we appreciate you, Mazi. Um, uh, Kola, not yes. Um, <laughs> uh, yes, uh, me and my people, of course. Um, 
um on the book and you i judge our logic but um what you rule so we keep this whenever i come to finland <laughs> then i'm gonna package it well so our um our fellow rep have prayed and the uh, war lodge so we didn't do no here in any land so i got a package here so Mazi, uh, thank you very much on behalf of me i'm using a uh, uh, hundred uh, dollar to support our our fellow rep that i have uh, wala the OG earlier time so of course i still have my my other ones uh, that are gonna come to war lodge for you so Mazi, you are highly welcome to no way they were Mazi. welcome yeah. Okay, taking it up from there, Mazi Richard, please, you can come in now. You can take up the mic. Mazi Richard, Denmark, please. Hello, my wonderful people. As you are finished watching this interesting video, please, I want to see your comment, your contribution, your opinion in the comment section. Like I said earlier, let us do it constructively. Tell me what you think about this uh, video that you have just watched and also about the platform. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Please remember to subscribe, put on your notification bell, share this video and remain blessed.